Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk about the solution to problem E, building an aquarium from the code forces round 898, a division for round that uh, recently took place on code forces and a round where I had the chance to participate uh, unofficially and I managed to solve every problem in just a bit over an hour. So. When it comes to problem E, we basically have an array of length n and a value x and in this problem we know the height of each uh, position and uh, we also know how much water we have at our disposal and our goal is to basically fill uh, the positions in the array so that the height of the tank is going to be as high as possible and the height of the tank is defined as the minimum value up to which we can fill everything. For example, here with uh, height equals 4, uh, we can use 8 units of water to fill everything, and as we can use 1 unit for this one, 3 units for this one, and for each of these two positions we can just use 2 units. Now, Given that uh, we know how much water we can use and we also know how much, uh, how many uh, piles we have, we can actually think of uh, various approaches to solve this problem. But uh, the most obvious one and the easiest one to come up with is a binary search based approach because uh, it's on one hand it's easy to implement and on the other hand we can just check for each uh, possible value of the answer if the amount of water we have at our disposal is enough to uh, make everything be equal be at least equal to the height we want to search for and in one step of the binary search we can just check uh, if the sum of the amounts of water we need is smaller or greater than the uh, amount of water we have at our disposal. As you can see here in this approach where basically after I read the array, I mean here I sorted it because I thought I could use maybe another approach but I realized that's not necessary. But uh, here I started by saying that the answer is the smallest value. Again, this wasn't too necessary either. And uh, at this step of the binary search, I just uh, checked if the sum of the quantities of water required is smaller or greater than the amount of water we have at our disposal. And after that, I just uh, printed the answer and this grab granted me a quick accepted solution as I managed to solve this problem in just a bit over two minutes after I solved the previous problem D. If you enjoyed watching this video and you liked my explanation please like share and subscribe the video it helps me now especially given that I'm coming back and you can also check the links in the description for more content or the chance to interact with me at a more in a more customized way. Until next time, stay safe, good luck and see you next time.